Спасибо. До свидания. Good morning from beautiful Jetty Obus. So we got dropped off just down the road outside the Seven Bulls Monument. Seven Bulls, not Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're beginning a eight or nine kilometer hike up to a waterfall in the mountains. And we're hoping that we can stay somewhere there. And also, we didn't expect it to be that hot today. It's very hot and the sun is very burning. <laughs> so Julia's come up with the ingenious plan. T-shirts on the head. We were told that on the way to waterfalls, we need to walk past five bridges. Bridge number one, you need to remember to come them. Oh yeah, and then they have to turn right. lovely guy on the way. He's a local, so he lives around here all the time, but him and his wife went to Bishkek for about three months, he said, to help out their grandchildren and kids, and uh, they just had too much of it. They had to come back here, and he was telling us where he served in the military, and bless him, he was so sweet. He was drawing on the ground where we need to walk and like telling us, asking us why we didn't get a car, <laughs> and telling us like how long we have left, and it's only an hour left, so easy peasy. I've tried four times now <laughs> to put across to you how much me and Julia love it when we're in the mountains but I guess it's my Britishness that means when I explain anything like that I sound so emotionless we love them so. <laughs> so we like the mountains <laughs> the emotional intelligence of a cabbage no cabbage is too emotional for you you're a moro <laughs> <laughs> you're a kilometer mara yeah. or a cucumber yeah. they're like 90% like water <laughs> We're going to check out if we can stay here tonight. around here so we're gonna look at the waterfall first and then find somewhere to stay we see the yurts back up that way probably gonna go there
Right, so we've been walking along the river for a little while now and we've seen two people on the way and we've asked them where to go. One guy on a horse and someone else and they both said different ways. <laughs> so we walked one of the ways to a point. The road just, yeah, didn't get anywhere at all. And the other way is a long way ahead. We're both getting a bit tired and hungry is the main thing. Yep. So we think we're just going to call it and go and find the yurt camp. Let's go. Let's go. How the hell did you get up there? Snack o'clock, we're going to share an egg. It's our last egg. If you don't see us, we never came out of this vlog alive. This could be the best tasting egg I've ever had. You're getting really excited. So the camp back there was completely empty and we were actually reading online before that this time of year is when a lot of the people pack up the, the yurt camps and stuff and head back down the mountains so we're hoping <laughs> that there's still a couple that are running at the moment if not we could be sleeping under a bush Спасибо большое. А Спасибо вам большое. Так уютно. До завтра. Спасибо. Сейчас все откинем и вам заплатим сразу. Можно, пожалуйста, ужин тоже? Хорошо, хорошо. Да. Это будет, наверное, та группа пусть придет, может, 7, чем 3, вот так, да? Ну, хорошо. Сразу заплатим, да? Хорошо, хорошо. Спасибо большое. До завтра. Ага. Спасибо большое. Я из Сибири. Я из Англии. Да. So cozy, right? Uh, don't put your bag on my bed. Uh, no, don't put your bag next to my bed. <laughs> so, the lady just told us that everything gets booked up a lot here, which is amazing. And she only had this yacht left, but the only thing she said, there is no light in the evening, she's going to give us candles. She's even better. Even better, yeah. Have you ever been inside here? Never. Never. Only like when we were in Bishkek and we just looked inside that, yeah. that one. So no. dinner's not actually until 7.30, so thank God we had that egg. The time now is 2.30, so I think it could be time for a yurt nap. What do you reckon? Cheers! I don't know, <laughs> it looks comfy. It is comfy. You know what? I would love to come here for, I don't know, a couple of weeks. Yeah. In September, like the same time of the year. So comfy. Just detox. Like bring a lot of books here and go for walks, hikes. So yurts are actually the typical home of the nomadic Kyrgyz people and they're essentially a wooden frame with like multi-layered felt around the outside and then a waterproof coating over the top of that. So the word for yurt in Kyrgyz is actually buzi which um, I don't know if you remember in Ulan Ude we had the dumplings that looked a lot like a yurt with meat inside and they were actually called buzzies. So yeah. So one more thing to show is just inside. Which is this at the top. And if you look at the flag of Kyrgyzstan, you'll actually see that right in the middle of it. And apparently the four corners represent the four seasons of the year. Cold. You're happy about that, aren't you? I think it could get really chilly tonight. I think it will.
We just come for a walk, and as you know, the dinner is at 7:30 supposedly, and we had our breakfast at 8, <laughs> and we had an egg. So we were sitting around there, and actually, as we arrived to this camp, uh, we met. I don't know how many of them, like six men? Yeah. And they were all so friendly and I don't know, they were just so you know sometimes you like get get these vibes from people. They they're so kind and nice it's just nice. And um, they're from Oman and uh, we just sat around there just staring at the views and they were eating, they invited us to eat with them. We're like, no thank you, that's fine, like don't worry, enjoy and stuff. So we sat there staring at the view. And they came over with dates and coffees and started like feeding us, chatting to us, like laughing about things. It was so sweet. Honestly, those dates, <laughs> they really saved us now. We feel so much better and definitely can hold off till dinner now. We were worried. <laughs> I don't know. Speak for yourself. <laughs> you know, I said earlier that a lot of the people pack up for the summer and leave the Jailus or summer pastures and go back down to lower ground. Here we've just walking past what was a yurt camp and it's all packed up now and it looks like this. Warmth. Is it warm? It's really nice. I kind of really want it, but then I really don't want to move from here. You look cozy as hell. I am. <laughs> My head is cold. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, this year is so big. But so empty. Yeah, definitely. Oh, where are you gone? We think we slept well. We woke up a few times during the night, but overall, I think we slept well. We went to bed at like nine. <laughs> that was so seven. <laughs> so good. And uh, we're going to have breakfast now, and then they're going to pack up and leave. So we really didn't want to leave this morning to be honest but we need to keep moving so we've got an eight kilometer walk ahead of us to get back to the sanatorium where hopefully we can find a lift back to a crossroads where we can get a marshutka onto where we want to go next but all of this is going to be the next video 
So we'll catch you then. And thanks for watching this one. Catch you in the next one. By the way, we were going to show you the full conversation with the guy we just met, but someone switched the camera into slow-mo. Not naming names. It definitely wasn't me. By the way, it was so funny this morning. So we woke up and as we got out of our yacht, everyone was there asking us, how did you sleep? And everyone, like the French group and the guys from Oman, they had these chimneys inside, so it was really warm. <laughs> And they were like, we didn't sleep at all. It was really cold. It was really bad. We didn't sleep. We had no chimney. We had a candle. <laughs> it slept better. But we didn't say anything. Like, yeah, it was. It was okay. <laughs> but they had the chimney. They Guys, had the you chimney. Had a fire all night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dodgy. Uh, I know. <laughs> yeah.